Uh, welcome back everybody today we are i'm carrying on the foundation license actually but this is an easy method of just understanding ohm's law so if you're new to ohm's law you know a really simple way of remembering it all i'm going to show it to you now but if you are doing an amateur radio and you're doing the foundation course i happen to be on roughly page four and five of the amateur radio course but you don't need to be doing this to understand this video or to get some knowledge from it. I'm not expecting a lot of people to watch this video. So as a reward for that, maybe you help me out with the algorithm by uh, putting a comment down below or just uh, giving me the thumbs up. Ohm's law. So as soon as you start talking maths to people, uh, they can appear very blank and confused. So my wife, for instance, if I tried to teach her Ohm's law, instantly she would believe that she couldn't do it. And that's actually not the case. It's very simple. It's like a puzzle and the puzzle only fits together in one way. So let's do a test and see if you can work this one out. OK, what is two times six? Do you know the answer to two sixes? Now, we taught that at primary school. The answer is... 12. Absolutely right. These numbers can only go that way, can't we? Well, you could, you could have it the other way, couldn't you? You could have 6 times 2 is 12 as well. But if you changed any of these numbers, we'd have to change something else to reflect it. So, for instance, uh, to get 12, you could have 1 by 12. That would equal 12, wouldn't it? How else we could equal 12? You could have 24 there equals 12... Uh, oh, we'd need 0 0.5 because half of 24 is 12. So if you wanted 12 in this column, you would have to do something to these numbers in that column. And vice versa. You can make all sorts of numbers. It's a puzzle. It's a really simple puzzle. Ohm's law, and don't get frightened about this because we're not going to dwell on it. Ohm's law says that V over I equals r what the heck does that mean now in the last video i covered what volts is i covered what amps is and i briefly mentioned what resistance is so if you put your your finger over the end of a hose pipe you're causing resistance and that will slow the flow the current down all right the volts is supplied by the tank at the top of the house giving us the pressure that's all that means so what does V over I actually mean? Well, we could use these numbers that we've just done and show you. So let's say, well, let's just move the numbers around. Uh, I'll go back a page. Let's say we have 12 divided by 2. What is the answer? Yes, 2 times 6 is 12. So it doesn't matter, this puzzle again, doesn't matter if you divide 12 by 6 is 2 or 12 by 2 is 6. So if you've got any three numbers, and we'll do it again, we'll do 18 and we'll do 3. But we don't know this one here. What would that one be? So it's V there over I there equals R. So what's our resistance going to be if we've got 3 there, 18 here, and 3 there? Well, we happen to know that 18 divided by 3 is 6. Oh, the answer is still 6. All right. Now, do you notice that we've increased 12 to 18, so one of the numbers has had to move? All right. V over I equals R. So it doesn't matter what number you put anywhere. I'm not going to read your mind now, but... We'll just do V over I equals R again. And you could invent a number, all right? We could have, and I'll just make these up. We could have 24 volts, let's say. 24 volts. And we've got a resistance of 2 ohms. How would we calculate I? Well, we know that V over I equals R, but V over R also equals I. So 24 divided by 2, how many 2s are there in 24? Or you could say, um, what's half of 24? Half of 24 is 12. So let's just test our numbers. 
two twelves a twenty-four. It's all working. Similarly, if you had another V over I equals R, and we'll do a completely different one now. Two blue. Oh, let's make a number up. Uh, what do you want? Fifty. Uh, no, let's do it. Let's do something else. We've got. Let's say we have four amps. All right, and we have six ohms. What would V be? V over I equals R, or I times R is V. What would it be? Six fours, we're back to 24 again. So the answer is 24. And we can test out our little puzzle by dividing 24 by four. How many fours in 24? Six fours are 24. I learned that at primary school as well. So you can multiply any of these numbers together. You can put your thumb over it, and you can just divide that one by that one equals this one. If we put our thumb on this one, this one times that one is this one. So all you need to remember is a really basic one. And then you go, oh yeah, what was that again? So if you're ever in an exam, you can do, I think the first one's probably easiest. This, 12, six, and two, all right? If you just remember 12, six, and two, V over I equals R. I'm saying it a few times, so it goes in, right? And if you're watching this before you go to bed, you'll wake up tomorrow morning and go V over I equals R. Am I subscribed to the DX Commander YouTube channel? No, I better go and do that now. <laughs> All right, that is Ohm's Law. If you didn't understand that, I don't deserve anything. So I'll see you another day. Next video is coming up here. Next time we're going to do power, right? Watts. How do we calculate power from, from, from Ohm's Law? We're going to do that next time. All the best. Bye for now.